What is up, insiders? Today, we're going over the UL Blocks Squonk Kit. Kind of got like one of those pump systems on it. Is this an Asmodis pumper or spruza killer? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out exactly what I think. Let's take a look at the mod. Check that out, man. It's kind of cool. There's your big square fire button right there. Let's give UL an award for putting a micro USB port in the stupidest location possible. Look at that. I mean, is that dumb or what? You put it right below the atomizer. So if I'm a sloppy squonker, I'm just going to ruin my port. Just so stupid and silly, man. I don't understand why they had to put it there. Actually, an asinine location. A little bit of UL branding over there. Okay, nothing much going on on the bottom. On the top plate here, we got three Phillips head screws holding everything in place. Stainless steel ring. Gold-plated spring-loaded 510 that for a squonking 510 actually has a long throw with a medium resistance to it. So not bad on that. Here is your squonking button right here. It's like a pumper action. You got to pump it up. And you can feel the air coming out of it when you do that. Okay, now let me show you how this thing works. Because this is kind of cool. They did this a little differently. You pop it open just like that. Look at that. You got this metal casing right here, okay? Now you're going to notice there's a sight glass here for your squonk bottle. That's kind of cool, all right? Now if you take this piece right here, right? Here is your squonk bottle. This thing holds 15 mLs of juice. Yes, that's correct. You heard me right. 15 mLs. That's unbelievable. You can see the battery indicator markings, black on black, bad job. I do like this push through that avoids a battery strap. You can just put your battery in there and then push it through when you want to take it out. Let's do that. Let's throw a battery in there. We're going to go positive side up. Now you see this little see this little edge here? You got to put it in the positive side first cuz otherwise you're just not going to be able to get it in. And you put it in just like that. You want to take it out? You just pop it out like that from behind see just hit that but we're gonna leave it in for now okay not a bad looking piece this piece right here is like a little ball bearing that kind of keeps it snapped into the casing I'm not sure I'm worried honestly about how long this is gonna click nicely how long is this gonna last right because it's all you know how many clicks do I get before this actually fails I'm not sure. That kind of bothers me about it. I wish they found an, another way to secure it besides that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure about it. I'm just not. Now, in order to fill your squonk bottle, you just pull it off and bang, fill it up. Juice we're going to be using today is the finest Berry Blast. You guys know I love my berries. It's a hard bottle. It's not silicone and soft, and it doesn't have to be because you're not squeezing it. Right? You're not squeezing the bottle. You're actually pumping the bottle from that little pump on top. Let me fill this up. Man, this thing, I can't believe the amount of juice this thing takes. This is a massive amount of juice. 15 mLs. It makes me wonder why there are no dual battery squonkers with a 15 mL bottle. I mean, if they can do this this small on a single battery, why can't they just put in another battery and make it a dual battery? So now you take your tube, your bottle, and you just pop it in there, just like that. Now you're all ready to squonk. Pop it back into its case. Five clicks turns it off. Five clicks turns it on. There's your LED right there. This is an unregulated mod, which means you're going to control your vape with the resistance of your coil, but it does have protections built in. It will only let you build down to 0.1 ohm. Anything lower than that, it will not fire. And it's got other protections built in as well that we're going to go over at the end of the video in the spec section. Here is the atomizer. We'll start off on top with the drip tip. Goon style drip tip. All your other goons should fit fine. It's not too low. I do like it. It is very comfortable. Here is your airflow adjustment. You have Cyclops style airflow right there. Okay. Now you'll notice if I shut one side... That side's closed, right? But if I open this side, that side's still closed. What that tells you is you can run this in single coil mode or dual coil mode. On the bottom, you'll see it says Nunchaku RDA, myul.com. I reviewed this RDA, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. 
with the Nunchaku mod. Not a big fan of it. It's average at best. I really think, especially with a single battery mod, they should have went with just a straight up single coil atomizer. Let me put it on a stand so I can show you the deck. Pop that open. A little bit of a conical design going on inside. Not much. It is a three-piece barrel. See, that comes off. And now you can see your three airflow slots that allow you to run it in single coil mode. Very uninspired deck, man. I mean, I hate decks where I got to share leads. I don't like running dual coil decks in single coil mode. My belief is there's so many great single coil atomizers out there. Why would I do that? You can see super raised squonking pin. I mean, look how high that squonking pin comes. That's ridiculous. Now, these are your terminals right here. And I really wish they would have knurled these. I mean, right now it takes a 2.5 millimeter hex. But, you well, what the hell were you thinking? Why didn't you knurl these so I could just finger tighten them? I mean, really, man. What were you guys thinking? That's just a bad job. As it is, though, you can build on it, finger tighten them, then grab your hex key and tighten them down a bit. Now let me show you some of the squonking action. It might take a few pumps to get that tube primed right so you saw the juice just coming up right now right see that now it says that every time you pump you're pumping 0.13 mls into it okay so basically what you want to do is you want to pump wait a second or two let it go down pump again wait a second or two all right I wish you were here so you could smell that juice. It's fantastic smelling. We're not going to wait for it to get all saturated. Let's give it a little help. Because once that cotton is saturated, you don't have to worry about it. It'll just feed from the bottom. Let's see if we got vape. We have vape. Let's have one more look at it all put together. Also included in the box is a micro USB cable for charging. You get a spare parts pack with some rather nice coils in it, a tri-tool, and some more deck screws slash, you know, post heads. I don't know exactly what you'd call them. See what I'm talking about there? This part, I'll go over that in more detail. And you get a solid pin in case you don't want to use the atomizer as a squonka. Those coils actually look pretty decent. Nice job on that. And you get a cotton pad. All right, insiders, let's get into them cons and pros. First con's going to be, man, you well, you get the award for putting a micro USB mm. port in the stupidest location possible. What the hell were you guys thinking putting it right under the RDA like that? Absolutely ridiculous. Whoever that engineer is, somebody should, you know, take them out back and give them a wood shampoo for that one. Not crazy about the RDA sharing lead space i didn't like it on the nunchaku i don't like the rda on this one again bad job on matching the rda to the mod itself whatever rda you were going to put on this mod should have been a single coil rda in fact i've been running my wasp nano on it and i like it a lot better with that atomizer the looks on this one right you well you should have put a deuces emblem on it the other thing is, you know, I do like the clean look of it, but that whole sliding action thing, right? I don't know how long that clip-in is going to last, right? You know, after a while, after pulling it in and out, it's going to eventually wear out. I'm not confident that it's not. So I got to point that out and give it a con. And the last con is going to be on that atomizer, that nunchaku atomizer. How do you make posts like that, post screws like that, and not knurl them so I can finger tighten them? Really, man? I mean, again, whoever the engineer was on that, you're just not thinking, bro. You know, you gotta, gotta put some knurling on that thing. It just makes sense. But that's it on the cons. Let's move on to the pros, because it's got some pros to it. First pro's gonna be, man, 15 mLs of capacity in a squonka? That's awesome. I gotta give him a big pro for that. I like the nice, clean design of it. It's clean and compact. I like it. It kind of looks like a big Orion almost. Awesome job on the look and the design of it. It fires fast. I'll give them that. It's a pro. I like the pumper squonking. Good job on that. Pro. It's a simple device. That's going to be a pro for a lot of people. It has protections built in. 
I'm digging that. The sweet spot to build on this one is between 0.15 and 2 ohms. That's going to give you a nice warm vape. So I got to point that out. If you build in that range, you should be fine as, as far as the flavor and the clouds go. And the price point on this is pretty fair. It's 60 bucks with the RDA, $55 without the RDA. For the extra 5 bucks, you might as well get the RDA, even though it isn't the greatest RDA. It's okay. It's worth 5 bucks. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you on the pros and cons. Let's get into our original question. Is this like an Asmodis pumper or spruza killer? Not really. And the reason it's not is because of the build quality. Obviously, Asmodis' build quality on something like this is going to be much better. But you're going to be spending more money on it, especially on the pumper, because that's got stab wood. It's almost like a full stab wood mod. So it's almost not fair to compare them. The only reason I did compare them is because they have a similar type of squonking system, a pumping system. I love the capacity on this thing. For what it is, it's actually a pretty decent kit. The pump action on this is actually executed really well. And, you know, it vapes fine. Let's go over some of the specs on the UL Blocks Squonk Kit. It measures in at 93 by 49 by 25 millimeters. It is a 90 watt unregulated squonka that takes a single 18650. It weighs in at 162 grams. The squonk bottle will hold a whopping 15 mLs. It will fire down to 0.1 ohm. It is a pump style squonka and it will release 0.13 milliliters with each pump. It has an LED battery indicator. It's available in black, gray, and blue. The protections included on the mod are short circuit, low power, over vape, open circuit, temperature protection, and reverse polarity protection. The atomizer included in the kit is 24 millimeters in diameter. It has a four millimeter juice well. It is a two post design with a choice of single or dual coil mode. And that's it inside is, that's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. What's up inside is Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today we're going to go over the top 10 mods of the year so far. My top 10.